Aerobic respiration is an enzyme controlled process that happens in the mitochondria. Glucose reacts with oxygen and energy is released in the form of ATP. Water and carbon dioxide are also produced as byproducts of the reaction. You need to learn the word equation for your exam. No excuses. In chemistry, there is a process called combustion, which is essentially identical to aerobic respiration. The difference is, aerobic respiration is a more controlled reaction. We don't just set fire to glucose inside our bodies and create an out of control chain reaction. There is an experiment involving germinating peas which demonstrates that aerobic respiration releases heat energy. So, it is an exothermic reaction. Just a quick look into germination. Peas are seeds. Seeds have stored energy in the form of starch. Depending on the plant species, different conditions will trigger a seed to germinate. Whiskey is made by letting barley seeds be exposed to perfect conditions to trigger germination. The barley seeds are tricked into germinating and they produce amylase. This breaks down the stored starch into maltose. You might have heard the phrase, malt whiskey. It was at this moment that Mr. Pricks remembered that alcohol is flammable. <laughs> Back to our germinating peas experiment, we have the following setup. We have some living peas and some dead peas. The dead peas are normally boiled and act as a control experiment and demonstrate that it is the living peas aerobically respiring causing the temperature rise. To record the temperature, we have a thermometer. The thermos flask and cotton wool are used to help reduce heat loss. The cotton wool also lets oxygen into the flask. The disinfectant is used to kill any microorganisms like bacteria. The bacteria, if not killed, can begin using the glucose released by the peas to aerobically respire themselves, causing the temperature to rise and affect the results. This experiment's results show a temperature rise over time as the peas aerobically respire. Eventually, the temperature rise stops because they run out of glucose. The boiled peas should not cause a temperature change. I'm going to present a tricky version of this experiment to try and prepare you for the exam. So we now have a setup where we have living peas, living peas with strong disinfectant, boiled peas, boiled peas with weak disinfectant, and boiled peas with strong disinfectant. We see the following temperature changes over time. In living peas, we see the fastest temperature rise because the bacteria are also aerobically respiring. In the living peas with strong disinfectant, we see a temperature rise, but it peaks later because only the peas are aerobically respiring. In the boiled peas, we see a slower temperature rise as only the bacteria are aerobically respiring, using the peas as an energy source. In the boiled peas with weak disinfectant, we see an even slower temperature rise as a few surviving bacteria gradually multiply and aerobically respire. In the boiled peas with strong disinfectant, there is no temperature rise because there are no living microorganisms to aerobically respire. No aerobic respiration is taking place. In the next lesson, we will look at anaerobic respiration.